In this demonstration, we are going to learn how we can expose our integration REST APIs using the API Gateway. I am here in the integration testing window for one of the integrations. So this is the endpoint URL that is a relative URL for my integration wherein I will pass the name and in the response I will be getting the greetings something like this. While building the mobile application wherein the client application will try to access your integrations. It is not a good practice that is to directly expose this endpoint URL for your integration like from the mobile app or any other end user application. So always the traffic must be routed through API Gateway as per the best practices by Oracle. Now there is one more catch over here. While exposing any integration APIs to a mobile app or any other third party application, you might get a requirement from the third party application developers that they want your integration to be exposed without the authentication. Now if you look at the trigger based integration connection over here that is for the REST adapter or the connection, in the security policy either we see OT 2.0 or basic authentication or or 2.0 and basic authentication both. You don't find no security policy like we had in the Oracle integration Gen 2. In Gen 3, we have only three. Only option to create your integration or expose your integration to anonymous users that is with no security policy is via API Gateway. So we will see both the cases how we can expose our integration via the API Gateway. All the traffic will be routed via API Gateway to the integration server. And also we will see how we can expose our integrations to anonymous users that is with no security policy using API Gateway. First and the foremost thing in order to create the API Gateway is we have to have the VCN in your Oracle Cloud. Navigate to your VCNs under the networking. Just make sure you have the VCN created with the Internet Gateway access or with the service gateway. So these things you can check with the admin and get it created. And one more thing under the security and if you go to the default security list over here, you have to enable the traffic in the 443 that is HTTPS port. I have enabled from all the IP addresses but you have to restrict it to the specific IP addresses from where you will be expecting the traffic. Like if you are creating a mobile application, they might be having some static IP address. You have to provide the CIDR block of that IP addresses over here. Just enable the traffic from that IP address over the 443 TCP port over here. And also if you require, enable the traffic over 80. It's not required but 443 is important that is HTTPS protocol. You have to enable the traffic that is from the VCN. In order to create the API gateway that is to expose our integration, we have to go to navigation menu. Click on the developer services. From the API management, we have to click on gateway. We have to select the appropriate compartment from here and click on the create gateway. Provide some meaningful name. I will give dev underscore integration 03. Next, the type I will select public over here as this gateway will be used by the third party applications which are not in the Oracle Cloud Network. Then coming to the compartment, I will select the development compartment. So VCN, we have to select the one which I had shown earlier. Coming to the subnet, I will go for the public. Again, you have to check with your security or the admin team which subnet you have to use and also you have to enable the ingress traffic on that particular port that is in the 443 port or accessing the HTTPS protocol as this gateway will be exposing the URL over the HTTPS 443 port traffic. Show on the advanced options and you can populate the details by checking with your security team. Once you populate all the details, click on create gateway. So this is going to take a couple of minutes in order to create your API gateway fully. Currently the status is showing as creating. We will pause this class until the status gets changed to active. Once your API gateway is fully created, your status is shown as active. So as I told, API Gateway will have its own host name which will be visible over here under the Gateway Information. Click on Show, it will show you the host name. So accessing the API Gateway URL, so it will be accessible over here like this. Let me just paste the URL. That is the host name. You have to prefix this with HTTPS colon slash slash and followed by this you have to provide the route. So this information we will provide as per our integration which we want our users to navigate via this API gateway. Now let's get the integration endpoint URL. So for demonstration purpose I will get the endpoint URL for this integration. Copy this from here and paste it over here. 
once your api gateway has been created you have to route your traffic from this gateway to the appropriate destination so for that we have to go to the deployment we have to click on the create deployment so there are two options create from scratch and with the help of file we will go for the scratch i will tell i want to route the traffic to the integration that is the greeting then coming to the path prefix so what we will do is we will replace just the integration post with the api gateway host so we will not expose our host name of our integration to the mobile app or third party application for that purpose i will just provide ic over here that is ic select the compartment and coming to the course so we will allow the traffic from all the origins that is star but in your case you have to only allow the traffic from the respective host name that host you can provide it over here coming to the method i will tell using this api gateway we will be accessing almost all the endpoints or the http methods so instead of all these individual verbs you can give the wildcard as well the rest of the details i will keep it default but in your case if you want to populate some static header then you can populate over here click on apply changes scroll down then i will keep all the things as default over here but you can populate the rate limiting all those things in your tls by checking with your networking and the security team in this demonstration i'm just trying to highlight how we can expose our integration using the api gateway and also how we can allow anonymous access to the integration so which is possible only with api gateway click on next i will go for no authentication as i am demonstrating how we can access the integration with no security policy suppose if you want your users to be authenticated before accessing api gateway then you can go for single authentication and multiple authentication providers there are a couple of options over here using the oci function as well as or 2.0 i will go for no authentication so anybody is having the url for our api gateway they will be allowed to access the integration click on next coming to the route here we will define the rest of the parameters that is this one i will give entire thing over here but it is up to you up to what relative path you want to expose this in the route information i will give same like whatever i am having in the integration coming to the method i can select as any because one integration can have any kind of http methods like up to 11 http methods one integration can support So instead of that, if you want to be very precise, you can select the HTTP method which our integration is using. That is the post over here. That is visible over here. If you see, there is a post. So if you don't know which HTTP method your integration supports, then you go for any. Next, our endpoint which we are calling with this API gateway deployment that with this path is the HTTP. So this URL we had copied over here our integration. So we will copy this from here. or you can copy from the integration as well let's right click copy link address for this integration and you have to provide it over here as this is a http url that is https colon slash slash i'm selecting http but if you want to navigate your users to the stock response or oca function we can do so like this scroll down coming to the route request policy you have to add the header transformation over here because our integration we can access using the or 2.0 or basic authentication so there are couple of ways how we can access our integration api gateway we have made no authentication over here under the authentication tab but when api gateway routes the traffic to integration it has to pass the credentials so all the authentication details is passed in the header that is the authorization header so we will add this header over here you can type this over here and coming to the value when we make a call to any api using the basic authentication so it will be having this syntax basic space suppose if your username is oci admin and your password is something like this 2023 something like this then it will be passing like basic space username colon and then the password so this will be encoded in base64 you can convert to base64 using any tool i'm making use of notepad++ mind tools and base64 encode so this is the format you have to make use and populate over here and select this and click on apply changes so once you populate all the details you have to click on next i will click on next here in the review section you will see all the details what you have populated in previous steps click on create so it will take couple of seconds in order to fully create the deployment so you can just refresh this and check the status 
it's still showing as creating we will pause this class for some time until our deployment is fully created our deployment state is now active we will access our integration using the api gateway url once you create the api gateway as we had mentioned we will get the host name over here we had copied this from here and we had pasted in the notepad it's over here so this we had pasted next the path prefix we had given exactly same like our integration so i will copy paste the same so our api gateway url will look something like this suppose if you have not followed along i will click on this deployment and uh, click on this edit here the path prefix is slash ic and coming to the routes the rest of the url we had given over here and coming to the endpoint url we had provided the entire endpoint url for our integration over here so we have to append ic slash whatever is the path prefix we had given for our api gateway deployment i will copy this url from here go over to the notepad paste it over here so we have to give the body what it is expecting in the integration coming to the authorization i have given as no authorization over here and click on send so we are trying to access our integration via the api gateway and we are passing the body that is binum learning and in the response we are seeing the response from our integration so if you look at the observability over here go over to the observability go over to the integration click on the received so just now we have received this request now if you want to make this something else like binum learning instead of this api gateway we will write api gateway and i will show once again no authorization policy i have added over here if you send so this api gateway will make a call to our integration and return the message i will just refresh this observability here if you see we are passing the api gateway what we had sent from the postman that is by using no security policy and in the response we have got the message like this so this is how we can expose our integration using the api gateway on also we had seen how we can expose our integration using no security policy via api gateway now you might get a question like while creating a deployment suppose if you want to call more than one integration suppose in the integration instance we are having 200 integrations in that case do we need to create a number of deployment or the routes so the answer is no i have created this deployment that is to create a generic deployment definition for our api gateway using which we can call any integration in our integration instance coming to the basic information in the path prefix we have to just provide this slash ic click on next so if you look at the integration url over here one of the integration url after the host that is the integration host we are having the slash ic that i have provided it over here in the basic information path prefix click on next click on next in the route what we have to do is we have to give rest of the url that is api integration so after this i am giving a generic path parameter with the name that is within the flower brackets i am providing the my integration and the wildcard that is star so this is what we have to provide and in the method we have to give any so this is the two things you have to do coming to the back end if you are calling any integration what you have to do is we have to give this generic back end like this after api integration we have to provide this request and we have to tell dot path my integration that is in the api route we have told after slash ic our api gateway path will be api integration and then my integration star rest of the path will be part of our integration that is while calling the api gateway if you are providing something like this then this information that is from v1 up to the greetings will be part of this path parameter it will be stored in this my integrations path parameter so coming to the integration url we have to pass on what we have got or stored in the my integration path parameter so that information i have stored over here so let me just copy this and paste it over here click on next and click on save changes or click on create so it will take couple of seconds in order to create the deployment in your case again i will highlight over here under the basic information basic information that is the path we have to give slash ic coming to the deployment in the deployment route i will give the route one over here we have to give the path as like this 
then while providing the integration url we have to provide the integration url something like this that is the destination url so this document i will attach in the resource section you can download from there let me check the status so it is now active we will copy the gateway endpoint from here that is copy and we will replace this over here in our existing postman request test everything will be same just this we will replace coming to the authorization it is showing no authorization there now i will tell api gateway request number two click on send yeah this is the response i am getting from our api gateway so like this using the generic method that is creating the generic route information for our api gateway that is path prefix will be ic under the basic information and here under the route we will define the path parameter with the name my integrations and that we will pass on to our destination url so like this we can create a single api gateway single deployment and the single route to call any kind of integration endpoints in our integration instance